so I am at work and I pulled to 11 11. <laughs> we love 11 11. It's also a new month. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. <laughs> so, this is Travis, and Travis used to run the film cage. And Travis no longer runs the film cage, but his spirit lives on. So what should the quote be today? May, you have a great summer and zero late fines. Just four normal things, going back, not bad. Today's not bad, but I do need to collect all that stuff before I can continue writing my essay. So here we go. I think this is what I do now. Like I just, I just jump into it. I'll just jump into it and then I'll be doing it. Anyway, I'm already running late for so many things. Wow, 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 let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I wasn't actually running late. I actually, as soon as I said that, it actually guaranteed that I'd be running on time. Uh, it's scientifically proven that if you say that you're running late, that you will be on time. And uh, here we are. So I have the outlines. Why my face look like that? So I have the outlines of both my papers done. One needs to be at least six pages, and the other one I think needs to be at least eight. And I think we'll be good. I'm just barely running to my sound mixing meeting with enough time. So because of the pandemic, this, that's not an exit, this tent is here, so we can all eat out in like the front, but it smells like a carnival. I think it's because of the mulch and tent combo. I'm here, and I think I'm on time. So as kind of a little update, um, me and my professor, we are in the middle of working on everything. We've been waiting for our progress to save and they are just going and getting some coffee right now, letting me have some chocolate covered espresso beans and I just did some measurements of my installation room and I'm logging that so that I will be ready for the build next week, which you will all definitely be seeing because that's going to be chaos everything saved that's awesome I didn't have coffee this morning so that was extremely fruitful it's kind of crazy it feels like there's not even enough hours in the day to like make up for all the procrastination I've been doing truly um, my arm hurts holding this camera up because I've been lifting more lately. It's always so funny knowing that I'm the only one that has to skim over the raw footage of this, but it's actually ridiculous. It is 
is June 16th. You stupid bum. Embarrassing. Because of how many times I have to just like move the camera, it's stupid. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Welcome back to Rachel's channel. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm just getting the cup. Sorry, more mixing assistance. Uh, yeah. yeah. There was not. I don't know what's more similar to a cup. This is more similar to a cup. Here we go. Alex, you want to stir for oh, us? Stir. Go ahead, stir that up. Stir the pot. I don't know anyone better at stirring the pot than Alex. <laughs> So we, because we are in our last class as uh, senior thesis students, which first of all, I guess it's like a phone case bottle. Yeah. Here can see more. What do you think is good? Yes. Mm -hmm. to get any of the extra off, but um, you can see what Diamond's doing, so that works. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Where did it? Got this goop right here. Aha! Is it on the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked really hard for this. Link down below. <laughs> <laughs> Send me the link. Yeah, go, sister. Where are you going? Or you could, well, here, but that's too high. You don't want to Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it like right here. That way it's like uh, it moves with Mr. Rogers. Gross. Yeah. Did you ever watch that? So I Keeps gooping. You know where we're putting it? Okay. Let's go ahead and put it. I can't believe how much of this fire came off. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, this is our this is our last class together, guys. Last day of class. <laughs> last day of class. Whoa. What has been your favorite part? of the college experience, and then what is your favorite part about being done? Best part of college experience is like meeting people, meeting, making friends, being done with it. I guess just um, seeing my growth, like being able to like see what I've gone through and then like really owning it. What about you, Ariana? My favorite part of the college experience is mm. meeting people from Maryland because I got to know like the state where I was going to school with and then having one of my friends ring from New York because I never thought I would be going that much to New York so that was a really cool experience and then about being done I'm just really tired so I'm like I'm glad <laughs> that we're done but it's kind of sad too no I mean I got that <laughs> my I mean it has to be the fact that I met all of you guys. Like, yeah, me too. I mean, the people are like, it's kind of the reason that you come here for the most part is yeah, for like, like the connections, connections. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, so I think my favorite part about being done with it is getting to make my own deadlines. That's my thing that I'm excited for is I'm going to have deadlines for myself. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be doing those, and I don't have to worry yeah. about grades. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm just gonna be doing things for me. So as a little update, I am just hanging out here, fixing up my fine edit. Um, I <laughs> have a lot of issues that I'm working through in this edit. <laughs> I really, really, really should work on my essays. But I think that might be like an all day tomorrow thing. So one of the most tedious things that I'm working on right now is having to go in and rescale everything for my own mistakes. I'm a little bit over halfway. However, I've come to the part in my sequence where it's a bunch of like one second clips. So I have to go into each one and resize it. 
just just girly things just little quirky cute things it got dark out while i was in there and that i finally have my thesis edit complete this is not flattering light whatever so i'm really doing this we're really finishing college they're really it's sinking in as i'm staring at myself on the screen waking up early to work on them probably going to bed late working on them tomorrow's gonna be fucking busy but if i get all my shit done tomorrow i won't have to worry for thursday even though i'm really doubting that i'm gonna get all my shit done tomorrow but we'll see you'll see Why? Um, someone had a Hi, scoop. <laughs> someone had a Hi, scoop. <laughs> someone had a late charge, and they haven't been able to pay it back yet. Mm. Look at us! Look at us all unmasked. Having a couple slices. Having a couple slices. Hanging with the boys. Mm -hmm. Birthmark. Okay, I'm gonna put on some music, and then we're gonna, and then we're gonna be in the club. Put on some music. And then we're gonna be in the club. Yes. <laughs> you can't tell that I'm smiling right I now. I think I can tell that. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm smiling very big, so I'm like, this is incredible. two pages in on my other essay, which means I only have six pages to go, and I have all tomorrow and the rest of the night. But I'm gonna be using the rest of tonight to make my thesis trailer. Oh man. Getting ish done. the things that I find very funny about my journey with self-love, self-acceptance, and film and video has been my slow introduction into vlogging. It's truly just me becoming comfortable hanging out with myself and by myself. It was something that I definitely did not know how to do for a very, very long time. And now I'm at the point where I am around other people who are like, you're so good at being vulnerable in front of the camera. How do you do it? And I'm just like, I pretend it's not there. And I pretend that it's just me talking to me. And one of those things is that I had to get a lot better at talking to me. I had to be a lot nicer. And I had to be a lot more accepting of the fact that I am a funny person. I don't know, I was really in denial of that for a really long time. And I know that I was very much influenced by any negative thing that someone could say to me. It didn't matter if it was criticism, it didn't matter if it was bullying. I also just really, really enjoy Baltimore in general. Um, I think that the more that 
I've gained independence and the more that I realize that I do like cool shit, it's all been helpful.